Hello, I'm Rick Sells from Good Shepherd in Colleyville. I've, I've got a few minutes to talk about uh, discipleship and what it means to me and, and how I got involved with this, with this North Texas Catholic Brothers for Christ. First of all, as the outreach and provisions lead, I want to thank you for being here. 760 plus men, you should give it up for yourself. Thank you for coming. I want to especially thank my Good Shepherd brothers over here for coming. Thank you for coming. Well, we've got 90 strong. So, um, I just want to talk about this organization, North Texas Brothers for Christ. It's not just about this conference this weekend, even though that, that's, what, you know, that's what we've been at this weekend. It's about ongoing fellowship programs on a local parish basis. So you're going to hear a little bit from Larry here in a minute about what we do at Good Shepherd every week where we have 60 guys show up for rosary and discussion. And he's going to talk about how we created that and how we keep that going. And we're here to help you do that at your local parish. So reach out to any of us that are in the red shirts. Uh, we're here to, to help you facilitate a program in your parish. But what I'm going to talk about is the reason I'm involved or I got involved in this is because it, it keeps me accountable. I need accountability. Men need accountability on a regular basis. We, the world's not giving us accountability. If we get on the internet, that's, that's the opposite of accountability. They want us alone. They don't want us together. So that's, that's what I feel that this organization has done for me and helps me expand my discipleship uh, than, other than just my own parish. I get to, to deal with over 90 parishes that you guys represent here at, at the conference. So my conversion happened a few years ago. I'm a cradle Catholic, but I really got reconverted after a chirp retreat a few years ago. And I've been telling myself it's about conversion and ongoing conversion. It's a lifetime commitment absolute commitment absolute straightforward relationship with Jesus it's not one Sunday a week and that's it it's every day so as one of my dear brothers at Good Shepherd tells me we need to get three guys that we have as accountability partners on a regular basis and those three guys need to get three more guys and those three guys need to get three more guys and and keep that discipleship going and spreading. I heard something from Father Barron, Robert Barron this, this Lent about crucifying your ego. Think about that, crucifying your ego. What does that mean? We gotta get humble. We have to, we have to humble ourselves to be able to, to be disciples. Now there's three things in discipleship that they must have. And Jesus tells us you must love God above all. Love your God with all your heart, all your soul. And the way to do that is by praying. Pray, pray, pray. I constantly tell my guys, pray, pray, pray. I tell myself that on a daily basis. The Eucharist is a source and summit of our faith. And we need to be in front of it as much as possible. We need to go to Mass as much as we can. More than just weekly, but definitely every week. But if you can get to a weekday Mass, that's great. Become a prayer warrior. Um, what I mean by this is, I, I pray in front of an abortion clinic every Monday, um, the rosary, and it's, it's changed my life. It's because I, I see people transforming the drive-by that used to flip us off, they change, now they're waving at us and smiling at us. It's just a great humbling experience. Grow by reading scripture daily. I always read the daily readings no matter what, uh, the daily gospel. You can get that on your tablet, your smartphone from the Date, from, from the U.S. Bishop's site, all these ways of getting them. And then adoration, if all possible, once a week. My wife does it every week. I try to do it every week. I just, with all my, my schedule, but I have to make time to do that. Secondly, disciples love people. Jesus said you should love your neighbor as yourself. And that means you have to love yourself as well. You have to take care of yourself. Jesus wants strong, healthy disciples. Jesus invested time in his self-care. He, he, he would go out and, and pray on his own or go out to the desert. 
he invested time to, to have his relationship with the Father. So preserve time in your schedules for prayer and for silence and, for, and, and to get in front of our Lord. Weaning away, weaning away from alcohol abuse, nicotine, anger mismanagement, profanity, pornography, all those things we've got to stay away from. They keep us away from God. The other thing that I do on a daily basis is pray for the, the fruits of the Holy Spirit. That's so important, especially the one we're about patience, because I need that every day. Thirdly, disciples make disciples. That's what this organization is all about, is making disciples. We're not here just to put on a men's conference. We're here to, to, for ongoing discipleship. We grow in our faith by sharing our faith with not only engaged Catholics like you guys, you holy people that are here, but with the unengaged Catholics. Luke 9.23, then he said to all, if anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. And I'm gonna finish up with one of the things that I, tell, I told my chirp group when I was uh, in chirp. It's our job as men and fathers of our families to get our children and spouse to heaven. It's also our job to get our brothers to heaven. And I'm right. Thanks. Appreciate it.